Carpenter. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not age at 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid 90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. First pitch, 7 o'clock. The wind up and the 0 1. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Count. 0 2. That's Breaking ball. ball below the zone. That's ball Count. one. one and two. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. He took home the Silver Slugger Award at second base in the American League last year. You look around and look at how much production they got out of those second basemen last year. That's a pretty special award to take home. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Popped him up. Suzuki moving to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting third. The right field. Now batting, Michael, Michael Brantley. Brantley. First offering on its way. Hey. In there, and it's 0 and 1. This guy him. loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Turner will put this one away and the side is retired. Nothing. Justin Verlander will be on the mound for the Strohs. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. left side and the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely that is second. boy that's what wheels right can field. do for you Dero. you can see this right here on this replay he just simply outruns the white rabbit he just outruns the baseball yeah it's beautiful to watch you know why because this is the one tool you can't teach you can take countless ground balls you can hit till your hands bleed but if you got no wheels newsflash you got no wheels. Turner on at first. Nobody out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. A time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. Behind 0-2 no now. Here's Verlander now on 0-2. And, and it's fouled away. The next 0-2 had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage two strikes Batting against fifth. the batter. He's the gonna have to put ball. that in the memory bank because oh, that yeah. guy made a nice two strike approach Number right there. Five. Made a nice two strike adjustment. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. 
Rounded to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And they will not get him at the plate as he's under the tag of Chirinos. Boy, that has to feel that good as a hitter, D. Where you get that okay. base hit to give your sure. team the lead, you have to feel good sure. when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, Alex Bregman. He, of course, the most valuable player in last summer's All-Star game. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. That is it. The left field. Stepping into number the box, 44. number 44. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Lower part of the zone, but it's taken for a strike. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Time for a look at the curly W on D. And let's take a look at Trey Turner up the chute. This is a guy that when asked to go to center field not too long ago, looked like that was going to be the spot for him. Now he's asked to move to the middle infield, back to his position at North Carolina State, and he can pick and grin, and he has got some of the quickest feet in the game. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Owen won the count. Good change up there as he takes command, 0-2. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot, 0-2. Let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. Slider lift on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Ready now, Brian Dozier. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. The one one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. Strike three. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound. The Victor. best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman. He can do it all. Five tools. The ability to turn a double play with the best of them. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge. But he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Batting done. The pitcher. First pitch on Back. its way. Cursor. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Zero. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Verlander sets his sights. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. In order, we play two innings. It's one to nothing. Go for the Astros. Leading off the, the inning, Robinson Chirinos, as they'll Robinson. look to get something going here and even this game up. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. One and one to Chirinos. Here's the pitch. 
And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. The one two. He is swung on and missed strike three. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Justin Verlander. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And here's a cold strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three called and he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. George. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're on the short end of a... Leading up. Well, First pitch on its way from Verlander. Shortstop. And this one's tapped oh, foul oh. at home plate. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. The right fielder. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Adam Eaton, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0 and 1. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. The third base. So bases are empty here with two gone. And then the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. Two out, nobody on. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Altuve. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves if they don't start putting balls in gaps. This guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Hit to third. Rendon is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Here's Michael Brantley. He popped out in his first trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Robles waits on it. Two gone. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman two away in the inning and Dan it looks like this could be another one two three inning for him. Yeah he has really found a groove on the mound and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning.
Juan Soto to the plate now. One for one National. after a single this first time fielder. up. Juan Back to work now is Verlander as the first pitch of the inning is swung on and missed for strike one. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now, now looking back. to follow first up the base RBI base. single oh, from yeah. his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super back. confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Count even at one and one to the Nationals' first baseman. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. One ball and two strikes to count. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Riding in once again, Kurt Suzuki. First two men in the Kurt. inning have both gone down via Kurt the punch Suzuki. out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. No balls and one strike. Verlander sets his sights. Here's the 0-1. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Verlander ready with another 0-2. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game in the inning. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Astros manager A.J. Hinch between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point. And he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And he fouls this one off. The 1 1 home. Is strike two swinging. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. So the base is empty here with one away. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. No balls and a strike to count. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros Here to this point. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. First pitch of the at-bat. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Astros go down one, two, three. They still trail one, nothing. Here's Brian Dozier now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side oh, last Washington. inning. How do they get the to him here? Baseman. I'm not sure, Matt, oh, that yeah. they want to stay as patient. He's Danger. been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. 
A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And that's out He's number up. one. Better Stepping field. up to the plate, 16. Victor Robles. He looked to Victor. bounce back after striking Robles. out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially oh, now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The pitcher, so bases 31. are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up one of the better hitting pitchers in Max Scherzer. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew That's right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Slow grounder to first. Yuli will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. In order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Striding in for Houston, for Robinson game. Chirinos. He'll start things out in one their one half eight. of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely no overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. So here now is the pitcher, Justin Verlander. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish, this A.B. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional he's mixed east and west really well and it's a big reason why he's had success got him swinging on the fastball there Justin Verlander sent packing for out number two in the sixth he's ready here's the first offering off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone two out nobody on A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Three and one. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a 3-1 count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fastball. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He'll get his Lead side started in the inning, one. and Dan, so far, That's they've been stop. stifled hey. offensively since the first inning. Turner. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Line drive to left. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Hey, they weren't the going to keep this guy Number down two. for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is, this guy has bat to ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Adam Eaton is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Behind 0 2 now. And he popped him up. But this will land untouched. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. The third pitch. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Anthony. And he takes a pitch Red. right down the oh. middle. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. A ball and two strikes now. The one and two pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. 
So digging in now, Juan Soto. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A ball and no strikes. Popped him up. Bregman in foul ground. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Stepping in, Jose Altuve. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Now battle. The right field. Into the box now. Michael Brantley. He flew out in his last at bat. Nope. And this is low ball one. Ball one, no strike. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. The count now at two and one. Here comes the two one to Brantley. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Full count now. Three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. The third base. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first, but this will land untouched. Behind 0-2 now. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. And a good two strike breaking ball there, but this will wind up missing. It's one and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. And Zimmerman will make sure that remains a foul ball. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Standing in, Ryan Zimmerman. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The catcher, number Digging in, Kurt Suzuki. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Might have been cheating for another fastball, trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. To one and two now. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. So striding forward now, Brian Dozier. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick... Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Ready for another shot now. Number 44. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. The 1-1. One, one. And this will be fouled away. That's one two cool. is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
the 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. I don't know if this is great deception by the pitcher, great arm action, or just bad offensive approach. They got to find a way to get something in the zone. Somebody's got to be willing to take a pitch, maybe move something the other way to kind of calibrate what the strike zone is going to be. Count is one and two now. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Griel behind a ball and two strikes. The one two ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh and it eats him up a bit and the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now that is so a pivotal moment here and digging in now Robinson Chirinos and he does so representing the possible go ahead run one and oh the count I uh, needed to lay off that pitch upstairs but it's one and one now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right hander has started to warm up out there one and two as he chases the slider here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here's the one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. So coming to the plate, Victor Robles. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. No nope. breaking ball called just a bit low. Fouled off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. The one two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Howie Your Kendrick will move into the on deck this circle now to action. try to get something started number here with one seven. gone in the inning. Howie Kendrick. And one this one runs up high. Ball one. Drilled to the left side. Throw on to first, and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. The batter number seven. So the Nats lineup Good turns stop. over, and to the plate, Trey Turner. He singled Turner. his last time up. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Alidmus Diaz please. will pinch hit here, he's and he's the, the potential tying run. Number 16, Alidmus Diaz. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike.
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Here's George Springer. Three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. And it's fouled away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. And a strikeout here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four now strikeouts. Second base. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Max Scherzer in line for the victory, barring a late collapse here. That evens it up one and one. The one one home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Two balls and two strikes now. Now this crowd right around 35,000 strong on their feet. Last strike now for Houston. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. 